Well, I'm so excited that it turned out to be really good. You Imagine if it ended with, with a whimper, it would be really sad. But this one goes out with such a bang, and actually goes bang, 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 pretty much all the way through, that I, I personally feel very, very satisfied, n not only to have been in it, not only to have had such a, a fun part, not only to have worked with such a fun, lovely family team, whether behind the camera or my mates around me there. It was a gorgeous ending, and I'm not sad. I mean, maybe in a few months, a year, or whatever, I think, Oh, I want to do another one. But right now, no, you know. Uh, it, it, no, it, it, no, not at all, actually. It, it just felt right that we were doing the conclusion. And it's the end of a particular set of stories. So, uh, no, there was no kind of doing, in fact, the opposite. Everybody had a joyous time. Um, global appeal of Star Wars is probably the most, the question I get asked most often, apart from is it hot in the costume, of course. Um, George Lucas did a lot of research, a lot of thinking about ancient myths and all that, father-son relationship with evil, we all know that. And he also then did a magic thing, which was pop very strange characters all together. I mean, you could, you know, Planet of the Apes was all, all about apes. Well, in, in this one, you basically had one Wookiee sort of thing. And then you had a little droid, and a big droid, and a princess. And you had a uh, Darth Vader type. He mixed and matched all sorts of different elements in a, rather like a chef creating a, a new menu, you know. Um, and then, at the time, there weren't really family entertainment films, I think, happening. Jaws had come out the year before. The, there was a kind of natural, strange elemental moment that happened when Star Wars came out and people grabbed it. And you could only see it in the movie theaters then. There was no video. And people had this collective experience which actually helped bond the whole thing together and grow it bigger than it really was. <laughs> well, I think, I think I've taught me that uh, I'm more <laughs> tenacious than, than I, 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 I have put up with quite a lot too. Uh, I kind of stuck with it, you know. Um, and one of the things I like about him is his, uh, his loyalty, his sense of loyalty. And that, uh, as a human being, I have that and I, I kind of share it. What I have loved is, is finding out recently how much 3PO is meant to people who sometimes find social interaction with humans quite, quite difficult. And sometimes they write to me on Twitter or whatever uh, how he was their friend on, on the screen. They, they really felt a, a kind of connection with him. And that's, uh, that's a side I, I didn't realize was happening. So I'm very pleased about that. JJ has brought everything to this one. He is a super genius, lovely guy. I've absolutely adored working with him. He's come in, he's brought all the pieces together, he's made new, pe new pieces to join in, and he's delivered a, a wonderful Christmas present. Believe me, I've seen it twice. No, it's been very, very exciting and working with JJ Abrams in particular was uh, uh, a real highlight for me. Well, he's got a great imagination, and uh, and he's uh, he's full uh, full of ideas. Not really. I, you know, I, I've been sitting, this kind of living with this with Lando for 40 years. You know, when I run around and do these conventions, uh, I've been doing those for quite a few years. So, uh, Lando is uh, it seems to be in my life consistently well I don't know we'll see tonight you know uh, I think it's a, a, a I saw it last night and it's uh, it's got all of the high adventure but it also has a lot of uh, a lot of depth to it well it, that's very difficult I mean it, it, it's so always everything about it is always very interesting working with People like George Lucas, people like J.J. Uh, Abrams, all of those uh, wonderful performers. So it's always a uh, uh, very interesting. No, oh, it's great. You know, I you know uh, it's a uh, you know Star Wars is a phenomenon. I think it's not like anything else that's come along throughout the years. Uh, but I think it, it not only is it uh, it has all of the the action the thrills, but uh, I think it touches on the kinds of concerns that we have when it comes to dealing with the dark side and the light side outside of oneself, but also dealing with those aspects in, within ourselves.
you know, the uh, collective unconscious, so to speak. It's very thrilled. It's very exciting. My family are here somewhere. And it's nice to be home. I mean, there's a lot of story. So I think you sort of, if you, like, I've watched it now twice, and you do get different things from different watches. But on first impression, it's a big, fun adventure, loads of laughs, uh, and with a lot of heart. You played uh, Rain Out for, for three films. What have you learned from, from playing how it was she meant to you? I mean, she's meant an awful lot because I was, you know, a jobbing actor, and I still am a jobbing actor, but it's given me stability for six years. It's been an amazing working environment, so that's been a real blessing because I understand how it feels to go to work and be made to feel really good and like what you have to say is important and what you have to offer is important. Um, and playing someone who's like really hopeful in a dark time is, is great. Jordan was amazing. It was amazing. Casually going for dinner with the King and Queen of Jordan, as you do, you know. It was amazing. Big Star Wars fans or? I think so. It's that thing that royals do that they're like, hmm, so interesting, and you're like, mm, is it? But it was so beautiful. We got to go to Petra. Oh, Jordan's an amazing country. Because I think it's about like family and about connections and love, and there's sort of something for everyone, and it's always been about generational love like mother to daughter, father to son, like whatever that may be. And that sort of passed down to us in this one. It just feels like a big connection of people. You know, I don't think I've got words to describe how I feel about being part of this. Um, delighted, but that's not a big enough word. I'm excited, so thrilled to have uh, been able to be part of this one and all of the other Star Wars I've been involved with to date. You know, there was a certain amount of emotion uh, involved with working on this one. I mean, JJ brings such a lovely atmosphere to set when he directs. I mean, he's just such a great guy. And um, But yeah, to know that we were making the last one, as it were, in this series is, um, is again, it was quite emotional. Similar to the experience I had working on the last Harry Potter movie, I suppose, in a way. I think working with my son, Harrison uh, is in the movie, and uh, being gonna be on set with him and kind of showing him the ropes was, was quite nice. I think it's characters and story. That's what George Lucas always said. You know, it's driven by these great characters, this amazing story set against these beautiful backdrops and space and battles and all of those wonderful special effects. But at the heart of it, it's a fun action adventure series, uh, much like those old kind of B movies of the, of the 60s. Well, I mean, I think that uh, the fans are going to be surprised. I mean, there's going to be lots of twists and turns, and uh, you know, I think expect the unexpected with this one.